Uh, let's have a look over here. We're going to do a whole bunch of stuff today, and we're going to have a bunch of fun doing. So I have been caramelizing these onions in about three quarters of a stick of butter for about 20 minutes. That's real. Look at that. That's nice stuff. And then we've got our bacon going here. I do need to get another kind of bacon going here, too. Uh, so there's a listen, there's a really quick way to make candied bacon, and we got to do that. So you must have a little butter in the pan and then a little brown sugar in the pan with it, just like that. And then I'm going to take anywhere. Uh, then I'm going to take a spatula and just start giving it the work around. There we go. We can turn that up a little. And take two. And what this is going to do is give us an awesome glaze. Uh, I think this is all looking nice. Yeah, that'll do. There we go. A little crisper. A little crisper with the bacon. Uh, I've got enough stuff out here that we're going to do a whole round of sliders because I love doing sliders. No, not, not even sliders. Smash burgers. Uh, and then we're going to do... Uh, because we got some leftovers and we're going to throw some ingredients together, I have my version of a Spanish burger, uh, I guess. <laughs> Which is going to be uh, the insides from a stuffed pepper we had left over, a little bit of marinara sauce, some queso cheese and parmesan. That's going to be fun. We're going to make a Coney burger, no kidding, uh, with the chili and the cheese and the dog. Uh, we're going to make a black and blue burger for the lady. We're going to make a California burger with the egg. I don't know why that's California, but that's just what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to make, this is where I lose everybody. I lose everybody with my uh, uh, peanut butter bacon burgers. Yum. All right. And then we're going to do our whiskey barrel special. I love my big scraper. And we're going to start our burger ponza with smash burgers. Okay. So let's toss our bacon. All right. There you go. Watch this. This is that nice glaze on the bacon. All right. So there we go. We got that going, that going, that going, that going. We're going to take a little bit of our onions. We're just going to kind of even them on out here, just like that. And then we're going to grab a little bit of our salt, pepper, garlic, and we're going to give these guys a little going over. There we go. Now you want about uh, two ounce balls for smash burgers. That's what you're looking for. And we're just going to kind of put these in the onions like this. All right. Spicy side down so we can start picking up all of those nice flavors. There we go. So now... Let's take this and go over top. All right. So I used to do like tiny little lunches for a couple of special burgers. Everybody here loves candied bacon. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Instead of one small square, I've learned my lesson, and I'm going to use one big square. There. Oh, I'm <laughs> All right. Okay. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. Ah. All right. We're happy with that. That's doing what it's supposed to do. So here's uh, another thing we're going to do here just to have some fun. We are also going to do my uh, whiskey barrel uh, steakhouse burger. And for that, I need my fun pan, uh, my forged in fire guy. So let's crank that up. And with a little bit of garlic oil in here. Oh, guys, come in here. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Watch. When I flip this over, look at how nice that's getting. Oh, boy. That's pretty stuff right there. All right, so I think our burgers are ready to flip. Let's start flipping these. So we'll try and get some onions on every wall. Oh, there we go. That's pretty. And that guy. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and very quickly take the tops of the buns off of these. Listen, smash burgers are simple. You can dress them up however you want later. And this is like an appetizer for the kids because I know they're starving. So listen, if you're doing a party, if you're going to have a whole bunch of people over, smash burgers are fast. They're easy. You can do them with a flat top. You can do them with a grill mat. You could do them with uh, a griddle topper outside. You can do them with all kinds of different stuff. Uh, and now you just give them a little topper like that. And that really is it. That's it, you guys. Smash burgers for everybody. Now you can take a second if you wanted to. Steam these on the grill. Go ahead, guys. And now we're going to start on our, like, diner burgers, man. These are no-nonsense burgers. Watch this. Half pounders, baby. Tristan's like, <laughs> Tristan's out. I'm, I'm over here. I'm, over, I'm looking at this. Look at that. Tristan's just worried about the burger. I love it. All right, go on over here, guys. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, for most of these, we're gonna give it some salt, pepper, garlic, and we're gonna put these on a nice hot griddle. There we are. Like I said, these are half pounders, you guys. These are the real deal. So let's crank this up. Nice sear on them. So I've got one for my Coney burger. I've got one for my Spanish burger. I got one for my California burger. Then I got one for my, I need that one for my steak burger. And now over here, because 
we all know that famous place that lets us have it our way. So I also want a flame broiled. There we are, right over the fire is gonna be nice. And if you notice, one of these things is not like the other, and that is the chicken breast. And that's okay, because I was getting a, a little nostalgic this afternoon. One of my very first jobs in a kitchen uh, was at a place called Kelsey's Restaurant. And uh, we used to get one free meal every single day. And I would get the bacon cheddar chicken burger. So the last one here is a special one. This is gonna be our steakhouse version. I use a little bit of garlic oil instead of regular oil. Now I'm gonna take some steak seasoning instead of just the regular. There we go. Oh, this would be nice. This is the same season they put in the steakhouse, just like that. And what that's gonna do is give us a really cool crust on that. That's awesome. We're gonna take some blackening spice on this one right here. And we're gonna make sure that this has that special taste and that special flavor on it. All right, Trish, let's go to the uh, wild side. Wild right side. And see how that's doing. All right, let's have a peek here. And, oh yeah, I'm loving it. So there we go. We got a nice crust there. We got a nice crust on that chicken. So now let's just go ahead and bring it on up. Let that cook a little slower to finish off. So we, uh, should we flip this guy? Here, I mean, we got a nice crust here. Wait till you see this. This is beautiful. All right, so the first one I think we're gonna be ready to do is that steakhouse one. So for that guy, we're gonna need brioche bun. That's a good one. Uh, now listen, lettuce, uh, if you're a salad fan, if you're not a salad fan, that's fine. You gotta put them on these because that protects the bun. All right, that stops everything from soaking into the bun and all that kind of fun stuff. So let's put a piece of tomato on there, just like that. Oh, these are doing good. Here, Trish, let's see if we can flip these over. Look at the burger drip. Look at that. How are you guys doing? Oh, man. I love this thing. Okay, well, I think I've got my, my Burger King one here is the, the way I want it. It's going to be ready first. Oh, yeah. I love that. All right, here we go. So I like a little bit of mustard. And fan ketchup there we go nice and then i'll put on this one that guy like that one the onions on top and let's get a nice piece of cheese for that one isn't burger nights fun so let's just set that there and let's let that rest for just a second and let's go pay a little bit of attention to our uh steak burger over here so this one's going to be fun guys watch this uh, oh yeah, that's good. So should we flip it again? Beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna have a good time with this. Hang tight. Let's get some onions. So this is our, we like to call it our forged in fire steakhouse burger. There we go. That's the way to finish off a burger, you guys. That, right on there like that. And we're gonna finish this one with a little bit of A1 steak sauce. That's a nice steakhouse burger right there. I love that. Put a couple pieces of bacon on top, the top bun, and then give that guy one of those. Oh, look at this. Look, 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 look. Now, do you want regular bacon or candied bacon? Candied bacon. That's right. That's right. Oh, yeah. Well, this, oh, that's right. My Coney Island dog. Thank you very much. I thought you were reminding me of the hot dog. Man, you can't have a whole lot more fun playing with a grill than you can with a Blackstone flat top. I'll say that much. So, mm, there's Trish's, just like this. There we go. All right, so what did we start with? This was our, like, just flame broiled. I want it my way. Here we go. Oh, perfect. Look at that. There we go. That's that wood-fired one. Isn't that perfect? I mean, that dead on, you guys. I love it. So I got to try this one. A little corner. A little corner. Give it a go. The, the three quarters we share in the extra one. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, happy National Burger Day. That's good stuff. And for our chicken burger. Oh, yeah. Lovely. We need cheddar bacon. Cheddar bacon chicken burger. Right. And bacon on top. And that guy is all done except for the one that the dog just got. All right. So that's that one. So which one? Ooh, this is our steakhouse burger. So remember garlic oil to start. And then we use the steakhouse seasonings. And then we use those caramelized uh, onions. And then the steak sauce on top. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, my God. That's incredible. All right. Here we go. Wow. Oh, that's good. So we got our burgers, and then we got our Coney dog. It's ready. Here's what we need to do. For our Coney dog, we've got the hot dog on top, just like that. And then we need a little bit of chili. There we go. And, of course, we need some cheese, like that. 
And then for our Spanish burger, we're going to need, actually, we'll let this kind of get hot there. Just like that. So hit that share button. That's really what we'd love to see you do. Uh, what else we got to put on there? We've got our marinara. There we go. And then our Parmesan, like that. And then we've got our queso. So let's go from there to here. Okay, so for the Coney Island, we got our burger just like, ooh, look at the cheese skirt. We got a cheese skirt. Don't lose the cheese skirt. There we go. Oh, yeah. There, now the Coney Island dogs usually got fries on it, but there was no way I was going to make a whole batch of fries for one burger. So let's go ahead and just take that. There we go. Ready? Perfect. All right. <laughs> Here we go. That's a big cut. This is a large one. I'll save the cheese skirts because I know the kids like the cheese skirts. Let's go. Look at that bad boy. Look at that. Here we go. Oh, that's fun. Hey. Make sure you're keeping an eye on us. Because what you saw tonight, if you're new to the show, is what it's always about. A little food, a little fun, a little family, testing out some recipes, testing out some new products, and telling you what we love to work with back here. Guys, my name's Mark Hill. This is Mark's on the Grill. Mm. Wow.